Breathe, man. 
You may be seated. Good evening. My name is Tanya Leisner, and I am one of the counselors here at UPHS. And I'm excited to see everyone. No, I'm Matt Mason. Since goose up and down my arms. Did you ever think we'd make it here tonight? Senior, give yourself a round of applause. Good job. I'm Matt Mason, principal of the best high school in the state of Kentucky. Welcome to the 2021 Senior Awards Night. This year we are even more excited to have all of you here. It has been a trying year, but we want to recognize our seniors as much as possible. Thank you to Kayla Ferguson from Mrs. Miller's Choir class for singing the national anthem, our ROTC students for presenting the colors, and Mr. Fitz's class in the special events world for creating the beautiful decoration. Also, a big thank you to Mr. Chris Renfro and Barney Hall for making live streaming this event possible. Finally, thank you to Allie Head and her group of staff for their part in highlighting this special event. This event could not be possible without the help of the DTHS Guidance Department, our Family Resource Center, and of course our teachers. Also, thank you to Riley Offit and Jared Watson for helping with the sound and light. As you leave this evening, cookies will be provided for you by Mrs. Jennifer Roberts. We thank her so much for the delicious treat. We have several guest presenters who have made trips to be with us tonight to listen to the program. We appreciate your support of our phenomenal students. We feel the love of those viewing with us from home this evening and wish you could be here with us. Seniors, welcome to your night. We want to recognize the accomplishments you have earned and we want you to know that the staff and faculty at DCHS is so incredibly proud of you. As you can see from the program, we are blessed with so many awards to recognize. Seniors, when your name is called, please come up on stage to receive your award. We will begin with recognition from the Kentucky Army National Guard. This, our great nation, is the American soldier who is distinguished as the Cardinal Defender of Freedom and Liberty. You have proven that the timeless values of loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage are so much more than mere words and are a living testament to the highest hopes and ideals upon which our forefathers founded a new republic, the United States of America. Wherever freedom is threatened and liberty is attacked, wherever there is a threat to our way of life, the American way of life, you are there, ever faithful, steadfast, and ready to defend. Whether in times of peace or conflict, no matter how great or small the task, there you are most assuredly stand. Your country, your people, and your president salute you. You are what makes this country great. You are an American soldier. You are the guard. Good evening, everyone. My name is Staff Sergeant Hannah Crawford, and I'm the Kentucky Army National Guard recruiter for Davis County High School. On September 3rd, 2020, Private First Class Alexander Beatty answered this call to serve his country, his community, and his commonwealth. As a member of the Kentucky Army National Guard, PFC Beatty has been awarded a $60,000 tuition $60,000 tuition scholarship to any in-state university of his choice. He currently plans on attending Western Kentucky University to major in history and wants to contract with the ROTC program to become a military officer. In exchange for serving in the National Guard for one week in a month, PFC Beatty will receive approximately $947 each month while he's a full-time student so he can focus on his college education. I would like to present PSC Beatty with the Kentucky Army National Guard for pretty challenge points in view of his loyalty, honor, and selfless service.
We would like to recognize students who have made the honorable decision to say to serve your country through enlistment in the armed forces. The following students have enlisted in the United States Army. Addison Leary, Cameron Morris. Good evening, I'm Ed Shell, and I'm part of your very wealth management. First of all, I want to just congratulate all of the graduates this year. It's been a crazy year, but I want to tip my hand to you and say congratulations. As I said a minute ago, I'm a part of your very wealth management. And what I do for a living is basically just help coordinate clients, or what we select group of people and kind of help coordinate their financial affairs. And that's kind of why I'm standing here tonight. I had a, I had a long time relationship with a client by the name of Flora Hornbeck. Dealt with Mrs. Hornbeck for over 20 years, and as time went by, she didn't, she was, a, she was never married, never had any children, didn't really know what to do with her estate and her uh, death. So over a period of time, we discussed what was important, and she felt like education was one of the best ways to give back to the community and what the community had done so much for her. So we decided about five or six years ago that we had total estate into a trust, which I managed. And over the last five years, we've given over out over five hundred thousand dollars in scholarships. So I just kind of want to pass that story on. It's pretty neat how people want to give back to the community, in which the community has done so much for them. So tonight I'm here representing the Florida Hornbeck Scholarship and the recipients of the 2021 Florida Hornbeck Scholarships are. Mason Evil Hair, Justin Missouri, Seth Payne, Ben Robinson, Hayden Glover, Olivia Johnson, Caitlin Ahart, Cameron Jones, Bo Stratton, Audrey Wilson, Emily Clark, Teriana Inman, Ian Bivens, and Victoria Aston.
present the Taylor Winker Memorial Scholarship. As we've all learned in the last year, life can change at any time. The changes can be good or the changes can be not so good. In times of uncertainty, it's important to remember that we are in charge of how we react to the people and events in our lives. Almost seven years ago, our family suffered a devastating loss when my son Taylor was killed in a car accident. He was just 16 years old, and he was loved and adored beautifully by those who knew him. In our world, had been torn apart. We did not quite know what to do, how to handle things, or what was going to happen next. We were still we're still unsure on what to do, what to do, or how to handle things. But with the help and support of our friends, family, and community, we continue to say that each day to keep putting one foot in front of the other. Continuing to live our lives knowing Taylor would be happy with us and proud of us for not giving up. As easy as it would have been to give up and go down a dark path, together we choose to add to the happiness in life. This is our sixth year to give out the Taylor Scholarship, and after uh, the graduating class of 2021, we'll have given away $26,000 in scholarships, and that's due to the support of the community. So thank you very much to anyone who's ever given to our memorial. I like to throw out a little bit of life advice to the graduates and their families. It can sometimes be easier to go down the dark path, but as you uh, start your next chapter and you start feeling overwhelmed or stressed, remember to lean on your family, friends, and community. They are here to guide you and support you. Be kind to yourself and remind yourself that you're only human, and sometimes you must learn the hard way. When life goes in a direction you did not expect, Keep putting one foot in front of the other and continue to build a life that you will be happy with and be proud of yourself for not getting up. Invest your emotional energy wisely and stay true to yourself. It's okay to be less than perfect. It's okay to do what's best for you. And most importantly, it's okay to just be you. Graduates, as you're preparing to take on a more adult role in your own life, whether it's moving out or going to college or starting a job, you may notice that mom and dad Grandma or Grandpa, or whoever your daily neighbor is, is hugging you a little tighter and are hovering a little closer. Please let them. Well, they too are preparing for their next chapter, and they're just trying to suck it all in. Just as things are changing for you, they are changing for them. Just give them that time for five seconds. And let them, if five seconds for a hug or take them up on that family movie night, you'll never regret it. Good luck and congratulations to the class of 2021. The winner of the 2021 Taylor Winter Memorial Scholarship is Jacob Kirk. Well, good evening, everyone. It's always nice to go to follow with Andrew. I've been doing this for several years now, and uh, to be able to come up to the mic and not have somebody that's about six foot tall, I don't want to bring the mic down so far. So last week, Apollo was a little embarrassing for me, so I didn't get to follow her last weekend. So, <laughs> but listen, my name is uh, Nick Oliver. I am the uh, county president for Independence Bank, and I have to tell you all that it's a, this is a very exciting time for us at the bank. Uh, last year, unfortunately, we did not get to meet uh, with folks here at Davis County High School or any of our schools because obviously it was a pandemic. But if you guys know anything about Independence Bank at all, is that we love to be a part of our community. We love to be in front of you guys. We love to say hello. We love to say thank you. Last year, Davis County High School did a fantastic job with the virtual event. Uh, my son, grandmother, uh, was a part of uh, the virtual event. And uh, I cannot say enough great things about this school. Seniors, this time of your life, uh, it seems like it's probably a little bit of a whirlwind. It's an exciting time. It's a fun time. But I can promise you guys that it doesn't seem that long ago that I was actually sitting in that seat. But I promise you that it goes super, super fast. And just enjoy it. Take it in. Next year, as you go off to your colleges, it's going to be an experience that you guys are going to thoroughly enjoy. Uh, this past year for high school for college students, it was a little bit different. But I feel confident that you guys are going to be able to, to hit the ground running as you guys head outside and, and get to the colleges you guys are attending. 
So today, we have a, a few scholarship recipients that we would like to recognize. Uh, again, this is just one of our most exciting times. We give back to the community in so many different ways, but to be able to give back to our high school seniors means so much to us. Over the years, we've just given back to high school seniors. We have nearly given out $1.4 million, uh, which is just a huge number for us to be able to give back to the communities that we serve in. And I'm so excited tonight to be able to get three recipients here at Davis County High School. So I'll announce each one of their names, and we'll ask you to come down after I announce your name. If we have a, a big check presentation for each one of you guys. So tonight, we're going to award $1,000 to Harold Fuchs, which he earned the Davis County Community Board Scholarship. That scholarship is a part of our community board that actually I chaired that board and actually had a meeting with everyone today. And we have about 12 members of our community that is part of the Davis County Community Board. And they give dollars to our scholarship program to actually give back to our high school seniors. So without those folks, this scholarship would not be happening. So again, Harold Fuchs, a thousand dollars to Davis County Community Board Scholarship. Aubrey Mills, two thousand dollars. The William and Sherry O'Brien Scholarship. And Chloe Phelps, two thousand dollars. The William and Sherry O'Brien Scholarship. So please join me tonight in welcoming these. This year's Ray Russell Key Club Scholarship winner. I'm oh, sorry, that was in the middle. I read it twice. So we can applaud again for her. <laughs> this year's Davis County, this year Davis County is also able to recognize an exceptional Key Club member through an additional scholarship. This student has upheld the principles of the Key Club and dedication of service to humanity. Please join me in congratulating Amos Lee Taylor. Kiwanis Club International Foundation was founded in March of 1982. The principles of the foundation are to promote the welfare of children and youth in the home, school, and community, to raise the standards of the home life, and to instill the object of the Kiwanis International. 
Foundation offers up to 15 $1,000 scholarships to deserving high school students who are children or grandchildren of Kiwanis members. This year's Davis County High School is pleased to have a recipient of this award. Join me in congratulating Ms. Emma Smith. Good evening. I'm Scott Norris, one of the three art instructors in the Visual Arts Department and sponsor of the Fine Arts Society here at Davis County High School. I'm here tonight to present a scholarship in memory of a very special young man, one of our own. Timothy Adam Polkerson is a 2004 graduate of Davis County High School. Adam, as he was called by his family and friends, 
was a gifted artisan of wild and dandy sound. He was an avid drawer, and particularly loved to draw cartoon characters. People in New Adam once described him as having a perfect nature and a genuine smile. One of his teachers said, if you looked under American Boy in the dictionary, his picture would have been right there. Adam planned on a career in the visual arts, and his mother offered to work three jobs to help put her son through college. But Adam wanted to pay for his own education, and the U.S. Army offered him that opportunity. So Adam enlisted, not only to help himself, but to serve us and the country he loved so much. On October the 8th, 2006, Army Specialist Adam Holgerson was killed in Kuwait, Iraq, when a landmine exploded near his vehicle during combat operations with the 82nd Airborne Division. He was only 20 years old. He had been serving with the Fort Bragg, North Carolina unit since June. Adam earned the Bronze Star, Purple Heart, National Defense Service Medal, Iraq Campaign Medal, Global War on Terrorism Service Medal, Army Service Ribbon, Combat Action Badge, Good Conduct Medal, and Army Aviation Crew Members Badge. Even the stretch of highway in front of this high school is named in his honor. Friends and family will always remember Adam as a hit personality. The DCHS Visual Arts Department and the Fine Arts Society try to honor his memory by awarding a scholarship to a student who we feel will share Adam's love for visual arts. For so many reasons, this year has been unusual. And that is also the case with the presentation of this year's scholarship. Because instead of awarding just one scholarship, this year we will be awarding two. Both of these deserving students are exceptional artists who have produced and exhibited high-quality work. We hope this award will help them to complete a degree that will lead them to a career in visual arts, and that they will help keep Adam's legacy alive. And we are confident that they will. The 2021 recipients of the Timothy Adam Focus Memorial Art Scholarship are Miss Chloe Cole and Miss Sabrina Ward.
The Hewitt Young Scholarship Award was voted on by our faculty at UCHS. Criteria included a 3.0 or higher grade point average and being an active participant in some type of extracurricular activity. This year's recipient is a student who has a high dependability rating among students and staff. Please join me in congratulating Bay Law as this year's Hewitt Young Award winner. Civitan Club is a local division of Civitan International serving Owensboro and the surrounding area. The club's mission is to support people with intellectual and developmental disorders in the community. Each year, the club awards the Robert M. Hood Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 to a senior within the Davis County area. This year, Davis County High School is honored to have the recipient. Please join me in congratulating Maggie Baker. Kentucky's Otis A. Singletary Scholarship is the top scholarship awarded to approximately 20 students across the nation each year. This prestigious award provides tuition expenses for four years and a two-year $10,000 room and board stipend. This competitive scholarship is a highly coveted award that UK offers to the country's most outstanding student. Davis County High School is honored to have a Singletary recipient again this year. Please join me in congratulating Philip Colbeck. Of 
This mentor scholar program includes a scholarship, which is awarded annually to only 10 African American or Latino high school graduates from Kentucky or Southern Indiana. MLK scholars participate in a program designed to develop critical thinking skills, engage in self exploration, and establish an appreciation for civic engagement. MLK, MLK scholars live in an honor service living learning community throughout their first year, enroll in courses focused on social justice and peace studies, engage in experimental focused social studies, or sorry, engage in experiential learning through community service initiatives, and during their second year participate in civil rights immersion travel experience. This program includes full in-state tuition plus an eight thousand dollar stipend to cover any and all other university expenses. It is my honor to present the Martin Luther King Scholar Scholarship Program Award to Christopher Diaz Cruz. accomplishes its mission by conducting 
uh, nationwide academic scholarship programs. Their journey goes to the National Merit Scholarship Corporation program are to grow a wider, deeper respect for learning in general and for exceptionally talented individuals in particular. To shine a spotlight on brilliant students and encourage the pursuit of academic excellence at all levels of education. To simulate increased support from individuals and organizations that wish to sponsor scholarships throughout city, Scholarship County. Davis County High School has two students and finalists in the National Merit Scholarship Program. This honor represents less than 1% of U.S. high school seniors and includes the highest scoring entrance on the practice SAT exam from each day. Congratulations to Daniel Martin and Emma Lou too. Davis County High School seniors have worked incredibly hard to earn scholarship offers from colleges and universities across the nation. At this time, we want to recognize the college scholarships that students are accepting. When your name is called, please come to the stage and receive a lapel pin that you may wear at graduation. We have many students to recognize, so please hold your applause until all students have been called. Alex Adams. Chick-fil-A 2021 Leadership Scholarship and Transylvania University Pioneer Scholarship. Gracie Edelman, John B. and Brownie Young. Caitlin Ahart, Daughters of the American Revolution Scholarship, John B. and Brownie Young, and University of Southern Indiana, David L. Rice Merit Scholarship. Madeline Augustine, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Maggie Bacon, John B. and Brownie Young. Tropicana Evansville Project 21 Scholarship, University of Kentucky Engineering and Provost Scholarship, and Veterans of Foreign Wars Voice of Democracy Scholarship. Bryson Diverly, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Alexander Beatty, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Serenity Barnes Winders, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Will Barron, John B. and Brownie Young, and University of Kentucky Provost Scholarship. Jasmine Beasley, Asbury University, Academic Merit, and Volleyball Athletic Scholarship. Caitlin Bell, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Lauren Benningfield, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Sarah Berry, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Ian Bivens, John B. and Brownie Young, and University of Louisville Trustee Scholarship. Irina Borman, John B. and Brownie Young, and Western Kentucky University, Mahurin Honors Program. Ross Bowen House, John B. and Brownie Young, University of Louisville Trustee Scholarship. Taylor Bristow, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Reagan Brown, John B. and Brownie Young, and Kentucky Wesleyan College Heritage Scholarship. Nicholas Bunch, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Philip Caldbeck, John B. and Brownie Young, Kentucky Welding Institute, National Welding Contest Scholarship, University of Kentucky Engineering, and Campbell and McDaniel Scholarship. Daniel Carpenter, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Will Carpenter, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Brenton Cecil, John B. and Brownie Young, and University of Kentucky Provost Scholarship. Colton Chapel, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Hamden Clark, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Emily Clark, Russia University Golf Athletic Scholarship, Trustee Scholarship, and John B. and Brownie Young. Chloe Cole, John B. and Brownie Young, and University of Indianapolis Art Scholarship, and Richard Luger Academic Award. 
Savannah and Connor, John B. and Randy Young Scholarship, Brooklyn Darby, Georgetown College, Track Athletic Scholarship, and John B. Brown and Young. Keely Darby, Kentucky Wesleyan College, Wesleyan Scholarship. Christopher Diaz Cruz, John B. Brown and Young, and University of Global Trustees Scholarship. D.H. and Douglas, John B. and Brown and Young Scholarship. Jenna Duckwall, John B. and Brown and Young Scholarship. Elizabeth Duval, John B. and Brown and Young Scholarship. Mason Ebelhair, John B. and Brown and Young, and University of Kentucky Trogo Scholarship. Taylor Evans, Davis County Lions Club Scholarship, John B. and Brown and Young. Kentucky Association of FSA County Office Employees Traditional Scholarship. Paige Fish, John B. Brown and Young, and Kentucky Wesleyan College Campus Visit and Trustee Scholarships. Braden Flinkner, Russia University Erskine Scholarship. Harold Hughes, John B. and Brown and Young Scholarship. Brielle Gaddis, Russia University Tennis Athletic Scholarship. Trustee Scholarship, and John B. and Brownie Young. Jamal Garrett, University of Kentucky, William C. Parker Scholarship. Michelle Gilley, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Logan Gibbs, John B. and Brownie Young, and University of Louisville Trustee Scholarship. Hayden Glover, John B. and Brownie Young, Kentucky Wesleyan College Soccer Athletic Scholarship, Campus Visit, Legacy, and Presidential Scholarship. Jackson Goddard, John B. and Brownie Young, and University of Global Trustees Scholarship. Keely Greenlee, John B. and Brownie Young, and University of Global Trustees Scholarship. Austin Greer, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Logan Parker, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Evan Harbilla, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Taylor Hayes, John B. and Brownie Young and Kentucky Wesleyan College Legacy and Trustee Scholarship. Zachary Head, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Carter Petty, John B. and Brownie Young, and University of Kentucky Future Cap Scholarship. Avery Heath, John B. and Brownie Young, and University of Kentucky UK Excellence Resident Scholarship. Hunter Henderson, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Joseph Blake Henry, John B. and Brownie Young, Kentucky Wesleyan College Football Athletic Scholarship and Presidential Scholarship. Piper Henson, John B. and Brownie Young, and Kentucky Wesleyan College Managerial and Presidential Scholarship. Brianna Heron, Murray State University Academic Achievement Scholarship and Racers Recruitment and Retention Scholarship. Carter Hoagland, Kentucky Wesleyan College Presidential Scholarship. Eric Holder, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Victoria Holtry, University of Southern Indiana, David L. Rice, Merit Scholarship. Danielle Howard, Western Kentucky University, Academic Merit Scholarship. Elijah Howard, Glenmore Scholarship. John B. and Brownie Young, Kimberly Clark, Bright Future Scholarship. Gracie Howard, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. George Holtz, John B. and Brownie Young, and University of Louisville Trustees Scholarship. Logan Hunt, John B. and Brownie Young, and University of Kentucky Provost Scholarship. Tariana Inman, Northern Kentucky University Commonwealth Excellence Scholarship. Nicholas Johnson, John B. and Brownie Young, and Kentucky Wesleyan College Golf Athletic Scholarship, Campus Visit, and Trustee Scholarship. Olivia Grace Johnson, John B. and Brownie Young, Kentucky Wesleyan College Campus Visit, Music Orchestra Scholarship, and Winchester Scholarship. Chloe Jones, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Madison Jordan, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Brendan King, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Jacob Kirk, John B. and Brownie Young, and University of Kentucky, Kentucky Futures and Provost Scholarship. Alyssa Kohler, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. May Law, Kentucky Wesleyan College Presidential Scholarship. Brianne Lamb, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Parker Leachman, John B. and Brownie Young, and University of Louisville Rodney Williams Legacy and Trustee Scholarship.
Parker Leachman, John B. and Brownie Young, University of Louisville, Rodney Williams Legacy and Trustee Scholarship. <laughs> Daniel Martin, DePaul University Merit Scholarship and Tyler Grant Scholarship and the John B. Brownie Young Scholarship. Leah Mattingly, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Leland Mattingly, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Avery Lee, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Diana Melton, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Justice Minster, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Destiny Miles, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship, and Murray State University Academic Achievement Scholarship. Hope Miles, John B. and Brownie Young, and Murray State University Academic Achievement Scholarship. Jessica Mitchell, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Elizabeth Moore, Lindsey Wilson College, AP White Scholarship, and Volleyball Athletic Scholarship. Jonathan Nally, Southern Illinois University Excellence Scholarship, and Full Football Athletic Scholarship, and John B. Brownie Young. Abby Newman, John B. and Brownie Young, and Western Kentucky University Academic Merit, and Softball Athletic Scholarship. Jamie Pauley, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Jesse Payne, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Luke Payne, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Alyssa Piercy, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Laura Penley, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Chloe Felt, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Emma Pratt, Salon Professional Academy Scholarship. Carly Redman, University of Mississippi Academic Merit Scholarship. Emily Ann Roberts, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Luke Roberts, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Ben Robinson, First Presbyterian Church Scholarship. John B. and Brownie Young, and University of Kentucky Presidential Scholarship. Kelsey Roby, Russia University Athletics Softball Scholarship, Ursuline Scholarship, and John B. and Brownie Young. Kyra Rowan, University of Kentucky UK Excellence Resident Scholarship. Isabella Saylor, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Marissa Sands, John B. and Brownie Young, and University of Southern Indiana Academic Scholarship. Gavin Sanders, Eastern Kentucky University Merit Tier 2 and Trailblazer Scholarship, John B. and Brownie Young. Rachel Sidehamel, John B. and Brownie Young, and University of Louisville Trustee Scholarship. Vivian Shree, John B. and Brownie Young, University of Louisville Cardinal Commitment. To Excellence in Trustees Scholarship. Kelly Siders, Kentucky Wesleyan College Academic Scholarship. Emma Smith, John B. and Brownie Young, and University of Kentucky Music Performance and Presidential Scholarship. Chloe Stacy, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Camille Stallings, Murray State University Academic Achievement Scholarship. Bo Stratton, John B. and Ronnie Young, 3rd Region Officials Association, Ronnie Harper Memorial Scholarship, and University of Louisville Trustees Scholarship. Mackenzie Sweat, John B. and Ronnie Young, and Western Kentucky University Cherry Presidential Scholar Finalist. Christopher Tapp, John B. and Ronnie Young Scholarship. Ainsley Taylor, First Presbyterian Church Scholarship, John B. and Ronnie Young. University of Global Trustees Scholarship. Olivia D. Taylor, John B. and Brownie Young, and Middle Tennessee State University True Blue Scholarship. Olivia K. Taylor, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Sarah Taylor, Kentucky Wesleyan College Trustee Scholarship. Brady Terry, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Kimmy Lou Tidwell, John B. and Brownie Young, and University of Kentucky Presidential Scholarship and University School of Music Scholarship. David Triplett, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Chloe Truitt, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Jacob Turner, David McLean Baptist Association Wilson Trust Scholarship. John B. and Brownie Young, Owensboro Community and Technical College Work Ready Scholarship. 
Jersey Vanover, Georgetown College Track and Cross Country Athletic Scholarship, and John B. Brownie Young. Alex Velazquez Ramirez, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Kayla Ferguson, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Keegan Ward, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Matthew Ward, Kentucky Wesleyan College Wesleyan Scholarship. Sabrina Ward, John B. and Brownie Young, and Whitesville Credit Union Scholarship. Sydney Ward, John B. and Brownie Young, and Western Kentucky University Academic Merit Scholarship. Sarah Watson, John B. and Brownie Young, and Owen Grove Community and Technical College Presidential Scholarship. Perry Weaver, John B. and Brownie Young, and Kentucky Wesleyan College Presidential Scholarship. Hannah Wedding, Bellarmine University Tuition Exchange, Vocal Music Scholarship, and John B. and Brownie Young. Hannah Wells, John B. and Brownie Young Scholarship. Connor Wayland, Kentucky Wesleyan College Presidential Scholarship. Grayson Whitaker, John B. and Brownie Young, and University of Cumberland Softball Athletic Scholarship. Paul Wiley, University of Kentucky William C. Parker Scholarship. Andrea Wilson, Western Kentucky University Academic Merit Scholarship. Emily Wilson, John B. and Brownie Young, and University of Global Trustees Scholarship. Allie Witherspoon, John B. and Brownie Young, and Western Kentucky University Academic Merit Scholarship, and Cheerleading Athletic Scholarship. Owen Young, Kentucky Wesleyan College Legacy, and Millersburg Scholarship. Please join me now in congratulating the class of 2021. <laughs>
I remember one more time as my grandparents left the old wood house. I remember the radio, dancing in the kitchen with my grandfather, and feeling that I was the most special and important little girl in the world. I remember walking up and smelling breakfast in the kitchen, patiently waiting. I remember a frightening, barking dog outside my house, and my grandfather quickly comforting me. Remember, I will always love you and keep you safe. I remember Peppa walking into the hotel after a long chemo treatment, reminding me that I had a purpose in life. I remember him struggling with the challenges that cancer brings, and him repeatedly counting his blessings. That's my daughter. You can find this poem in its entirety in our issue of Soul that's the DCHS Literary Magazine this year. I watched this student's eyes fill with tears as we read this poem together during the feedback process in class. I watched her pride grow as she finally got the words right, and she hit the submit button for the poetry contest. And now, I get to watch this young lady stroll across the stage to accept this award from us in the English department. She has run the race in high school, and I have no doubt that she is that much stronger for the race of life ahead of her. It's for these reasons and countless others that I'm proud to present the 2021 English Department Award to Miss Maggie Beth Bacon. <laughs> Good evening. My name is Steve Easley, and I'm the Academy Dean of the Social Studies Department. And tonight is my honor to recognize an outstanding student who reflects the true spirit of the social sciences. This young lady is a terrific student, although I have to admit I'm still a little bitter that I don't know this from personal experience, as I've never had this student in class. But those that have were absolutely blown away. Um, our dear, beloved, retired social studies teacher, Mr. Goodrin, said to this student, what really makes her special is her ability to see how history connects to current events. She is a critical thinker who wants to know more than just what happened in history, but why things happened. She is not only an intelligent, creative, enthusiastic, and kind student, but humble and respectful of all people. Her AP Euro, her European history teacher, Mr. Howard, described the student by saying that she was one of the most openly impressive students that I've had the pleasure of teaching in my AP European history course. She made sure her opinion was heard and stressed the need for understanding all different perspectives. In addition, she was an active member of the Young Democrats Club here at DC, oftentimes giving up free time to help promote the ideas of our organization and working for local candidates in their election efforts. In addition to her work in the classroom, a significant reason the student received this award is in her work in advocacy and social justice outside of the classroom. The student has been an avid participant with the DCHS Student Y program. As a freshman, she was elected to serve as the KYA Bluegrass Speaker of the House after giving an amazing speech in which she inspired students from all across the state. As a junior, she was elected the Commonwealth Speaker of the House, the highest elected position in KYA, uh, the Kentucky Youth Assembly Conference, that a DCHS student has achieved in over 20 years. Student Y advisor Mr. Thompson says of this student, at Kuna, she was recognized as an outstanding member of the Security Council, but I was even more impressed with her, with her humility and her willingness to support her fellow Democrats. Despite being a Y Conference rock star, her focus is always on the issues and being a team player, not personal recognition. She works incredibly well with others, but is never afraid of being herself. She is a role model both in and out of the classroom and is truly deserving of this award. I too have had the pleasure of hearing her give inspiring speeches at Y conferences over the past four years. Her concern for others, her joy of serving, and her passion for justice are second to none. And did I mention that she wrapped her speech at KYR? Like, wrapped her speech? Who does this? So, um, it is for these reasons and for so many more that the Social Studies Department is proud to give our award this year to Chloe Jones. <laughs>
Good evening. My name is Jordan Leach, and I'll be presenting the award for the Physical Education and Health Department. Uh, this young man has taken a total of 11 physical education classes, and uh, that's not enough to give you an award, by the way. We had some people take a lot, but he was the highest. That's the most we've had in a long time, so he really likes competing. Uh, he, he is one of the most enthusiastic people that I've ever been around. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's pickleball, lifting weights, or just going out to run on the track. He is extremely excited about it at all times. Almost to the point where we have to ask him to bring it back a bit so that other kids can catch up and have a good time. He's very, very competitive. Um, so that, that's the kind of attitude that we're looking for with this award. Uh, we do everything that we're asking you to do. Um, this young man was also not only a multi-sport athlete, but he pulled off the feat of being a multi-sport athlete of two sports that play at the exact same time. He participated in soccer and football simultaneously for four years. I remember him sometimes leaving soccer games and getting to our football game within five minutes of kickoff to play with us. Um, something else that's unique for you guys that may not, may not be a student of the football world, uh, so he was, the, he was the kicker of our football team. Normally the kicker just kind of shows up when he can, you know, maybe two practices a week, doesn't really engage with the team. He, he just kind of does his thing. That's not how this young man was. He, he wanted to be on the actual team. He came to everything. Workouts, runs, uh, the team loved him. He's just an extremely enjoyable person to be around. Uh, so this uh, year's health and physical educational work goes to Carter Hope.
Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to our 2021 Outstanding Business Academy student, Ms. Tyler Lincoln.
This year's Math Communication Award winner is a young lady who has shown great promise behind the keyboard and the camera. Whether it was volunteering to take on extra spreads in the yearbook or writing an additional news story to share the great things happening at DC, this student embraced each and every task head on and never failed to meet a deadline for produced top quality work. A vital member of our yearbook staff, this student has proven to have an ear for news and a passion for bringing the stories of others to life through her writing and photography. It is for this reason and countless others that Ainsley Taylor is this year's Mass Communication Award. to honor our Information Technology Award. Mr. Chris Ritter was unable to present this award as he's handling the camera for our live stream. <laughs> Here are your words for the Information Technology Award. Camden Clark. Camden, Camden excelled in my computer courses. He takes his studies seriously and applies himself well. He has taken and passed many business classes as well as passing the accounting in the program text. Camden will pursue a future at Wake Forest University next year. Congratulations, Camden Clark. The Visual Arts Department at Davis County High School is blessed with many talented students. And while talent is important, that is not the only factor considered in selecting the senior that best exemplifies all for which our department strives. First, this year's recipient of the Visual Arts Department Award has a passion for art. If you don't know that, you haven't met her. She is very creative and has a unique vision that is all her own. She's also a conscientious and hardworking student who is focused and faithful complete the tasks and challenges put before her. She is eager to learn and welcomes her team in order to improve her work. In the past four years at DCHS, she has taken 11 classes in the Visual Arts Department, to my knowledge more than any other senior student. And of course, she is down All you have to do is look at what she creates. Her work has been displayed in several public venues, such as the Three Hearts for the Arts Art and Music Festival, the Theophilia Oxman High School Student Art Exhibition in Kentucky Wesleyan College, and our very own Davis County District Art Showcase. This young lady has been such a blessing to our department, and she will be greatly missed. But we know that she will go on to do great things. I am privileged to present the 2021 Visual Art Departmental Award to Ms. Chloe Cole. Good evening. My name is Nathan Clark, and I'm the head band director at Davis County High School. And I'm here to tonight to present the Performing Arts Department Award to one outstanding senior among you in the crowd. Um, the really special thing about the Performing Arts programs here at Davis County High School, but also all schools in the United States of America, are that performing arts students, any student body, typically represents some of the highest academic. Um, and leadership achievers in any student body across this nation. So for us to have to pick one outstanding senior from the band, choir, orchestra, or drama program here at DCHS is a pretty tall work. Because even though you may not be aware of it, many of the students that have accepted academic scholarships, leadership scholarships, or department awards tonight 
have been members of the band choir orchestra for the speech program here at Davis County High School. Um, the young lady that will be receiving the Performing Arts Department Award tonight has been actively involved in Davis County High School concert band, marching band, um, United Sound Program, and Indoor Wings Program for four years. This individual has served as the assistant and head drum major for Davis County High School Band of Pride and has also participated in the All State, the Family All State Band, twice as a junior and as a senior performer. Um, the Performing Arts Department faculty unanimously selected Ms. Emma Smith to receive the Performing Arts Department Award for 2021. The Agriculture Department, as well as FFA, our mission statement is peer leadership, personal growth, and career success. Our recipient absolutely embodies all of those. Uh, this young man, as far as peer leadership, he is the president of our FFA chapter. Uh, personal growth, he not only excels academically, but he's the kind of young man who can take an AP exam 45 minutes later and see him running down the road and shop the, to uh, load up a trailer bridge. Um, in career success, there's no doubt he's going to be outstanding indeed in the pursuits. Uh, the Agriculture Department is absolutely pleased to present our Department Award to Philip Colbeck. Student winner is uh, a student leader. He is the uh, cadet commander in charge of uh, uh, in charge of our company. He holds the highest student office within the JROTC program. And it's because of his leadership, he's being awarded tonight. The uh, department award is being is being uh, given to him because of his leadership during this during this school year. We have managed to compete and, uh, and do very well all throughout this, this year because of his strong student-led leadership. Uh, so it gives me great pride to award Cadet Commander Gavin Sanders. Good evening, my name is Larry Lawson, I'm athletic director here, and I would like to be, uh, we're going to award the athletic department award. The athletic department award is an award that is given to a special student athlete that goes far and beyond what he or she does during the competition. This award represents the overall character of a person and not just the qualities exhibited in competition. The individual that receives this award excels in their sport, is a leader going and off the playing field, is respected by his or her peers, excels in the classroom and participates in school events, volunteers in the community, and is an overall outstanding person to be around. 
This year's winner has many team and individual accomplishments while attending Davis County High School and is a three sport athlete. Here are some of her accomplishments. Cross country, participated on the region championship team four straight years. Was on the state runner up team in 2018. Danish, region championship team 2018 2021. State championship team in 2018. Three time national championship team in 2019 and 2021. Track participated on the 2019 region championship team, and she has set two school records on the track team in the 100 meter individual and 200 meter individual. From the KHSAA, she's a four time winner of the KHSAA Triple Threat Award for participating in the sport during all three seasons throughout the school year. Just think about that. This young lady never had an off-season while attending Davis County. Served on the athletic department's Title IX committee for three years. With all that being said, this individual still found time to excel in the classroom, take college classes, keep up with homework, work with special needs students in our building, and hold down a, a, hold down a job during any free time. I've always been taught that the ultimate judgment of a person is by how much they will be missed when they're gone. This young lady will be tremendously missed by her teammates, her coaches, her teachers, and this entire school community. It has been an honor for me to get to know Kyra and see her progression as a high school student and athlete. I will miss her smile, her kindness, and her willingness to make everyone around her a better person. Ladies and gentlemen, join me to congratulate the 2021 winner of the Athletic Department Award, Ms. Kyra Rowe. Kyra 
making. Congratulations to the newest members of the Davis County High School Hall of Fame.
Yeah, it's been a post for a while. Yeah. And uh, I hope our staff, um, to you seniors, have treated you with kindness. I know, I know that they taught you something. But they made it worthwhile to, to keep the doors open. When you opened up the car door, you wanted to come inside. And you wanted to have a good time while learning at the same time. The DCHS teacher of the year, this lady goes above and beyond the call of duty. Words can't describe how much she does. Oftentimes, she's here before I get here, and I get here too early. She's here much later than I am. There's times when I want to find peace, I sit right there where you are and listen to her students. This, the theatrical stuff that comes off the stage is truly amazing. The talent that we have at DCHS is unbelievable. Unbelievable. And this is where I escape to come and find a little peace during the, during the work day. It just sets my mind at ease. Keep the kids connected. When they were at home, uh, had to cope in her cell and still able to do the work. Keeping her kids connected because it matters. It matters every day. And she did it with passion, enthusiasm, and still worry about her own life, her own family. They still come to school with a smile on her face. The reason why I find you're sitting, why the way you're sitting out there is because she came up with a plan to do it safely, <coughs> to host shows, to have concerts, to host an event like this, uh, keeping the doors open for our students to successfully be up here on the stage and do what they do. And it is truly amazing. I had a tough time trying to get her here tonight. I, I secretly needed some help uh, from others. Uh, I, I tried to work my magic, and I can honestly say it's the first time I couldn't get the teacher here. So I had to reach out uh, as much as I could to make that happen. And I want, I want to give the biggest round of applause for our teacher of the year that kept kids connected, kept our doors open, and always counseling kids and advocating for kids every day. Ms. Karen fell out. Responsibility takes an active part in class, 
and character. Exudes positive characteristics that make the individual above the norm. Please help me recognizing, please help me in recognizing the 2021 DCHS honor graduate. Bill Caldwell. Our award ceremony tonight. Thank you all for coming. Just a reminder, please do not congregate in the auditorium. And don't forget to grab a cookie on your way out there. Delicious. I'm driving out for you. <laughs> pictures, also, pictures may be taken outside. Uh, just try to social distance and stay safe. Thank you.